All right, welcome to Friday Night F or Friday Night Magic. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> we have Pioneer version here. Uh, me v Tim. Tim is on the play with Mulligan to six, and I kept seven. Friday Night F and M is kind of like the VIN number. So I said Friday Night uh, <laughs> F and Magic. Yeah. All right, so I'll yep. play an island and then play Bomats on a time. Ooh, nineteen. Exile card, and your go. I'll play an Island and pass. All right. Draw my card. I'll play Hawked. Yep. Scry one. I'll put this at the bottom. Yep. Draw a card. And I'll attack for one. Uh, 18. There you go. Play a hinge gate pathway. Okay. And so I will one. pass. Alright. Draw a card. Play a ginger brook. Yep. Attack with both. Yep. And you go. Alright, end of your turn. Flash and a rattle chance. Give it hexproof. Oh, I see. It's just a creature. Yep. I thought you were targeting or something. Yeah, uh, so when it enters the battlefield, target spirit gains hexproof to the turn. I'll give it self hexproof. Ah, I see. Uh, I'll take my turn. All right. Um, this is very awkward. So all your cards have flash now? Uh, oh, spirit spells. Spirit spells, yep. I see. Spirit spells have flash, yep. Play this bar channel pathway against my better judgment on green. And I will move to combat and attack you for two. Alright, I'll go to 18. And I will pass. Alright. Alright. I'll play a Dark Steel Citadel. Mm -hmm. Both of these play in Soul Artifact on my land. Um, I'm gonna respond to you casting the Soul Artifact. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast Spell Queller. Oh, neat. You're gonna exile the spell then? Yep. So it'll be exiled underneath the Spell Queller. Okay. And then, so if the Spell Queller dies, you'll get the Soul Artifact back and you get to cast it for free. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, so when it enters the battlefield, exile target spell for a mana cost four or less. And when the spell caller leaves the battlefield, the exile card's owner, which is you, may cast that card without paying a spell cost. Okay. So it's a 2 3 with flash. Neat. Well, I will pass. going to move to combat. All right. Attack you for four. All right, so I'll go to 14 then. And I will pass. Draw a card. Hmm. All right. Tap both these, play Patchwork Automaton, and... Yep. I'll just attack with both these again. Um, all right. In response to combat, I'm going to flash in a mausoleum wander. I'll let you read that. Sure. Okay. And then after that resolves, flash in a remorseful cleric. No. Uh, so this will buff by one. Yeah. 
Um, I'm gonna block the Bomac courier. All right. Well, so that'd be a two-two. It dies then. Yes. And I'll take the one from the Ginger Brute. So those are exiled face down. You get, you get fifteen. Well, I think I should have gone down to five. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> It's not, uh, yeah, you're, you're not having the, like, the, the greatest of luck with your lands right now, are you? No. Um, all right, well, let's uh, start like this. Let's cast Empyrean Eagle. Other creatures with flying, I control, get plus one, plus one. Neat. Uh, pumps of water, because of spirit. Uh, yeah. Move to combat. Three, six, nine... 12. All right. I'll go down to two then. All right. And I will pass. All right. So. Uh, if only I had a mountain. Well, I'll play an island. Uh, no, you don't. You don't take. It's only if it's a land or nothing. They don't discard I'll play so Mind good. Link Mech. Yeah, Mind Link Mech, yep. This will get a plus one. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, yep. Got it. And I think we can go to game <laughs> two. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. It would have been like way more into the game if that was another one. Yeah, uh, you'd be stuck on one land That's for fun, so yeah. long. Yeah, that happens to me a lot, I feel like. Well, how many, how many lands? How many lands do you have, do you know? Well, I have... Well, this deck is more than 60, so I have a okay. bit more than usually. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I gotcha. But one-third of them are lands. Oh, so you're still, like... You should still be fine. Yeah, I feel like it. I mean, you're, I gotta assume mm -hmm. that you're... Low, your mana costs are low to the ground. Yes. So, yeah. like, that your normal way would be 33%, roughly, is what you would, I would think you would want to put oh, well. yeah. in that style deck, or a little bit less, yeah. even. Yeah, normally I would play, like, 20 lands if it was a 60 Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. makes sense. I even have some of the life gain dual lands. So I can... Oh, okay. I didn't have those last week, though. Oh, okay. Because I, I literally couldn't buy them. <laughs> okay, well, I feel like I should add some cards. Do you like some uh, on a black discard? Do you see some of the dominaria stuff kind of here? On a black discard, you get a lot of. You're running like Dread Presence? I'm not really. Ooh. It's like no Ooh. Yeah, it's like when I do play a swamp, it has a trigger. Sorry, they're talking about <laughs> adding a card now. Canyon's deck over there. The card that I loved in Standard. Which card? Dread Presence. I do not know what that does. Whenever you play Swamp, it's like deal two Maybe, damage but like, or you can get them draw a card. Base, it was alive. Hmm. I remember which cards these are. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest part about Cyborg, especially when you're playing a newer deck. Yeah. I can't remember what you uh, boarded and boarded out. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't sound familiar, but that would be sick. That would be an amazing circle. Yeah, that would be an amazing circle. Alright, even on player draw. Um, I think I'll draw. You're gonna draw? Ooh, well, if you say it like that, I think I'll play then. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think with the uh, with as low as your deck is, like again, you probably want to be on the play. Alright. Um, it does like theoretically kind of put you a card down or have. A yeah. Card down. Sometimes I feel bad when I don't have the seventh or the eighth card. I guess right away. Yeah. Especially um, if I mulligan, actually, then having the card disadvantage kind of hurts. But um, your deck is. Quicker too, right? So it's like, supposed to be, but yeah. that's what. Then that's why I say like, yeah. Probably also being on the play, there is the yeah. advantage because your deck, you want your deck to get rolling quicker. Yeah, that's fair.
Joke's on you, I have five wins. All right, so I'll let you shoot the <laughs> player draw. You may have play. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need the perfect cards. To start hey, with. It's not hard, right? <laughs> okay, I'll keep this. Um, I will as well. All right. And I guess I'll start. Just dice up. I'll play an island, yep. then I'll tap it. Play black staff. Okay. Right, what's that for me? Uh, I can tap it for this cost and make yeah, an gosh. artifact of four four creatures. Oh, okay. You got it. As long as it's tapped. Gotcha. Here we go. Alright. Play this pathway on blue, and I will pass. Alright. Draw a card. Play a mountain. Tap both. Play enthusiastic connections. Okay. And uh, you're going. Oh, end of your turn. Flesh and a spectral sealer. Okay. Take my turn. Draw. Gonna play Hengate Pathway. If I have to show you one. Right? Play a Supreme okay. Phantom. Uh, so one three flyer, other spirits like a turtle. Okay. It's combat. Attack you for two. Sounds good. Eighteen and pass. All right. Here's my card. So two two and one three. Okay. I think I'll play an island. Mm -hmm. I'll attack with a 2-2. Okay, no blocks. And I'll tap the, or use its ability and make it a 4-4, actually. Okay, uh, so uh, go 6 While four. it's swinging. Yeah, yep. And then, for one mana, I'll play a mech titan core. Okay. And you go. It's up to your opponent. Technically, you can uh, I will shot this into yeah, play by 14. He's allowed me to take it back then. I'll play Empyrean Eagle. Then, so other creatures I control with flying eagles. Okay. And move to combat. Attack you for five in the air. Sure. I'll go down to 13. And I will pass. Alright. Draw my card. Swift Water Clips tapped. Yep. So that you gain a life, right? Yep. Go to 14. 14. Oh. Then I'll attack with the 4-4. Four, four. No bucks. Okay. Go to 10. Alright. And I'm going to use the Mountain, sacrifice my Mech Titan Core to deal 4 damage to your flyer. Here we go. Play botanical sanctum. Um, I'm gonna play a selfless spirit. Oh, neat. Uh, move to combat. Attack you for three. All right. I'll go to 11. And I will pass. Draw my card. with the 4-4 four, four to start. Okay. No box. Go to 6. Alright. Then I'll tap all my mana. What? Make 3 imps. Make or three. devils. 
three I'm devils. Ready. Gotcha. Ready. Yeah. So you can just sacrifice your thing. I would have just done five damage to everything. <laughs> yeah. And your go. Alright. End of your turn. I'm gonna flash in another spectral sailor. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. I wasn't sure why it wasn't buffing itself. Was yeah, it's other spirits. Yeah. I see. So I'm seven. Yep. And I will pass. All right. Draw a card. All right. I'll just attack with everything. Attack with everything, huh? Yep. Let's put that in front of that, because that's a 4-4, right? Mm -hmm. That in front of one of those. All right. Uh, declare blocks. Oh, Part of the damage. Sack this to make my creature set short. OK. Then this will die. I'll have it ping your face. Yep. So Five. Right. And then this does two damage yep. unblocked. Let's go to three. All right. And main phase two, I'll tap these two, play another Mechanaut. Response. Flesh in a spell quiller. Okay. So counter it unless, yeah. I mean, oh. it's the counter target spell. I see. Neat. Okay. Here we go. Combat. Uh, three, four, five, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, darn. You win. <laughs> Good game. Good game. 